Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Pioneer Slivers today. And we're up against Paul. And it looks like we've got a... Hmm. Not a good hand. Not a good hand. It's not a good hand either. All right. Well, this is a keepable hand, but we're going to have to dump our icon. And... Uh... Yeah, let's dump our Gale Rider. Yep, 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 yep. All right, cool. Paul, what you got for me? What are you on? Okay, we're doing some ramp. We're doing some ramp. Uh-oh. It's not going to be good for us, I don't think, because uh, we are going to be behind. Uh, all right, an untapped forest. That's fine, but we're just going to play this out. We're going to say no, and we're going to pass, because we've only got two drops in our hand. Go, go. Start off with our Metallic Mimic, hopefully try to get some pressure going, but uh, we need to draw some gas and some playable gas. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Yep, we're slivers. Take our Lord, kill our Mimic, have me concede. <laughs> That's how it might go. <laughs> All right. Gonna play out another Elvish Mystic. Get ready for a bang and four draw or five drop next turn from them. Silver Hive Lord, you are not playable. Sliver, go. All right, they didn't hit a land drop, so they can just play a four drop. All right, well, they're doing Winding, Constrictor, forget how you work again. Uh, here we go. Yeah, 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 okay. So we should be seeing like a Walking Ballista coming up here too. Pretty gnarly, pretty gnarly start from the opponent. Of course, we had to mulligan twice. Uh, that's not bad. It's not bad. We might be able to get our Sliver Hive Lord out if they don't kill anything. Which, that'll be a first in a while. We haven't gotten him out in a minute. Boy, oh boy. Hmm. Yeah, let's see what we can do. What are we missing? We can hit all three. Yep, okay. Just don't kill our stuff. Ugh, okay. I'm starting to get gnarly here. It's a big ooze. Taken four. Planes. Well. Boom. Silver Hive Lord. Haven't casted you in a while. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> We're still in a little bit of trouble. See what they play. Oh, Ravager. It enters with three counters on it. Okay. Yeah, that's rough.
Got a big boy blocker though. That's all I can say. <sighs> all right. Just don't want to die on a swing back here. I guess I'll just attack with Hive Lord. Oh, well, I could have attacked with more. <laughs> I forgot I just gave everybody vigilance. That was stupid of me. I'm giving him an extra turn for no reason. I forgot. I put down Sentinel. I'm losing my mind. We're gonna trade him off. Make a creature. And then eat him. All right, Nisa's problematic. These guys are getting mighty big. He's a 17, 17. Wonderful. Say no. All right, we're just going to be killing them with leeching damage, basically. No trample on him yet. Game's getting interesting. I feel like they probably just need to pump up their Scourge enough to get a Trample kill on us is probably their best bet. All right. Okay, we're going to start taking damage from him, though, so they've got a little bit of a clock on us. Sorry, I feel like I'm playing this one real sloppy. That's what happens sometimes when I switch over from Popper to playing Pioneer. I'm like, wait, what am I doing again? What's all these things mean again? I'm an idiot. Freebooter. Well, not getting anything with that either. Alright, so they're empty handed. Two damage to me. Come on. I just want to put down a predatory. There we go. We're just going to keep attacking them. I don't think it matters too much right now. Sliver Hive Lord is saving us here, that's for sure. It's going to be a hard deck to beat, even on uh, our own clock. 
They do get some big guys fast. We're going to have to rely on Gale Rider and uh, just trying to go wild and, and Gale Rider just go above head quickly, I think is our best bet if we're going to survive this deck next game. Or we get another Hive Lord down, which would be dope. But we do only have one in the deck. We don't see him too often. We usually collected company him away. I just need to make sure they don't ultimate, gain a bunch of life. Which, I mean, they can, but... We have them on a two-turn clock, or, yeah, two-turn clock right now. So, uh, yeah, they can get in for one damage. Sure. It's our only option at this point. Hit for two, we go to 11. Sure, let's just put this down, see if we can kill him with another uh, leeching. There it is. Double leech and coming at you. For a mulligan to five or whatever it was, that's pretty dang good. Boom. All right, let's sideboard. And uh, let's see here. Death touch would be good. Pithing Needle for the dang Planeswalkers. Uh, this can hit like Scavenging. Take out one Diffusion since we didn't see a ton. To keep in a Bone Scythe, take out a Mortal. Uh, I think it's just going to be hard to cast, honestly. Striking's realistically going to be hard to pull off against their bigger creatures. Cut one of these, cut one of these. Yeah, let's try it. Let's see how this goes. Fingers crossed. I'm sure they're, they got to be bringing in more removal against us, so maybe there's a case for Shaper Sanctuary, but let's just get a non mulligany hand here. Give me a good one. That's not a good one. Fudge. Alright, we'll keep and we're, oh, I don't want to cut anything, really. I kind of want all these guys. Don't really want to cut Collected Company, but I guess it makes the most amount of sense. Because we can play everything else. They're taking the two to play their ramp. Fatal Push. Very nice. Do I just want to kill their elf? I think I want to save it for better things. So let's just go Gale Rider. Try to get set up with the leeching play here. We'll go leeching into the predatory. Start getting damage on that way. Uh, that, that way. And uh, if we need to start killing off like a scavenging use or something that we're able to with Fatal Push, that's fine. Finding Constrictor, I actually do kind of want to kill that. That's a gnarly card. They're going to get in for one. P. 
pithing needle. Hmm. And it's just a little bit weird. Alright, we're just going to hold Fatal Push for the Widen Constrictor. I want to see what they play here. Don't want him getting out of control. Well, they have another one anyways. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's lovely. Alright, time to go to the skies now, I think. Can we pithing needle him, though? Activated... I always forget. Uh, activated abilities of sources. Unless they're mana abilities. Okay, so we can hit him with that. Which is nice. What am I spelling wrong here? What? I can't read it. There it is. Alright, let's see if this works. And, uh, we'll start swinging in for some more damage here soon. We're gonna need this Lord to survive and carry us through to victory. Paying the two. Uh, that sucks. Yep. Not choosing to attack. We get another leeching. I'm just going to put another leeching for now. We're not attacking in yet. So let's just set up with our leechings and see what happens. Yeah, they want to protect their Faraska. Nisa, Nisa, should have waited on the pithing needle. Alright, we got Death Touch on all these guys now, so I am going to start swinging at Baraska right now. If they 
they want to let it die, fine. So they're not targeting my predatory. If they want to trade some stuff off, cool. Letting this go through. What's up? Alright. Brasco's down to one again. I have another experiment. Putting some counters, awesome. Feel like I just need to like reset the game a little bit here. You got a kill. If you have a kill for the venom, then I'm just donezo. I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's go to the next game. There's nothing really you can really do about that. Gale Rider, Gale Rider. Yeah, we're, we would have been in a bad spot, though, either way. Um, that's fine. Uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? Anything else I want to do? I guess Shaper. What was I going to bring in? Pithing Neville is fine. Just need to call the right crap. I like Venom. Let's try like that. Cut the hive lower. Ugh. I'm not sure. company this and that it's a little slow i'm concerned but i'm not going to toss it back Go ahead. All right. Well, Come on, take it. Take it.
Taking the icon. Okay. That means that they've got removal. <laughs> Which is lovely. But we do have our four lands now. Try to get some collected companies off. Hardened scales. So it begins. Ooh. That's nice. I think I'm going to play it like this still. Start swinging. Set up for the collected company, but it looks like they're going to kill my predatory. Gonna kill my leeching, okay. Fair enough. Uzi boy. Shaper Sanctuary, huh? Yeah, I'll try to get that down, and I'll do Siphon, and I'll hold on to my Collected for next turn. Kill my lord. Lovely. Okie doke. Well. We've got a Siphon out. They got one card in hand. And we have a Collected Company, so we have some refill. Looks like we both had interesting starts. They had some good stuff for our hand. Two Harn Scales. All right, this is going to be uh-oh trouble as soon as they pull into something decent. Two Collected Companies. All right, I'm popping one now. Because I want to get attacking. Oh, boy. All right, so... Fusion Predatory. I think it's a play. Or we go Predatory Venom. Let's go Predatory Venom. Yeah, we have more diffusions we can grab. Seems reasonable. Zero cards in hand for them. We're swinging in with a 3-3 lifelink with Death Touch. And we've got another collected company on the way. And again, they're out of cards, so uh, let's just hope for something not great. That's pretty good. Can put a counter and then he'll be big. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. And we can kill Nisa. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, hmm. Yeah, I, uh, they have zero cards in hand, so I'm just going to go for the free launch in the air. Kill Nisa. Direct the rest at them. We're up to 30 life. They're at 10, and we still got to collect a company. All right, feeling, feeling, feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. It's been a rough been a rough game. I don't know how I feel about my my plays here, but we're working it out. They drew, and they conceded. Yes. Yes, they did. Let's see what our collected company would have given us. Uh, would have given us um, Bone Scythe. I would have wrapped things up right quick, and another Gale Rider. So, yeah. GG's. Um, whew, we played Sliver Hive Lord. He's going in the thumbnail. Haven't played him in a hot minute. 
Uh, please excuse the bad plays. They were pretty terrible. I know I could have been a little cleaner on some stuff. But uh, feel, feel free to leave some comments down below and let me know what you thought about the match. Make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned. I think we're going to have one more Pioneer Slivers this week, so look out for that probably on Thursday. And we will see you guys in the next video.